my goodness. Look how fluffy he is. He's like a polar bear. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is me and in today's video I'm going to be clipping Casper all by myself. So this is actually the first time I've properly clipped Casper myself because last year and in previous years I've always got my instructor to do it. Last year I clipped him but I had like supervision of a professional. This year I went and bit the bullet, I bought myself some clippers so I'm going to clip Casper myself. I've never done it myself before so I was going to do this as like a how-to video but I feel like I'm sort of figuring things out. Like I know how to clip, but I just don't have much experience. So I'm going to be talking through what I'm going to be doing, but um, if it goes wrong, it doesn't matter too much. That's why I decided to first start clipping him myself this year, because I'm not competing him this winter. If it looks a bit dodgy, then um, nobody's really gonna see it or judge him or really care. So I often get asked why I clip Casper, and one of my most frequent comments I get in the winter is, why is that horse shaved? So the reason why I clip Casper and um, this is very often in the UK, is that Casper, being his breed, he gets very fluffy in the winter and he gets such a thick winter coat, so it means when he's being exercised and I'm riding him, he gets so sweaty and it's so uncomfortable. And then because he's wet and he's sweaty, when he is cooling off and he's I'm finished with riding him. Um, he actually gets a lot colder because the sweat will make him cold and the sweat can't dry because he's so fluffy. And also it's just easier to groom him. So clipping is something that is very common in the UK and I will be clipping Casper this year. However, I won't be giving him a full clip because obviously he isn't in hard work. He's probably in, in between like medium and light depending on how much schoolwork I have at college and things like that. So that's why I'll be only shaving part of him. Um, so he will be having a blanket clip there are lots of different types of clips that you can go for. Some people go all out and go for a full clip, some people go for a hunter clip. And then for me and Casper, I think the best thing to go for would be a blanket clip. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Another thing I'd just like to say is I am all for keeping as much hair on your horse as possible, but I'm also all for making your horse as comfortable as possible. And for Casper, and because he is a ridden horse, for him to make him as comfortable as possible will be to clip him. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to clip his face or anything like that because for me personally, I prefer my horses to have hair on their face just to protect their face and everything. Also I think in Germany it's actually illegal to cut any whiskers on any animal including horses, dogs or anything like that. So I'm going to be keeping all of his face fluff on if you're wondering. However I am going to be cutting off his feathers because not all horses actually have feathers and he doesn't really need them because in the winter what basically happens is all the mud gets stuck to his feathers and they just it just makes his legs a lot muddier and a lot wetter. However I won't be clipping his legs because I want to keep some of the hair on to protect his legs. However, it's just easier for me for him not to have feathers in the winter to manage him with all of the mud because also the feathers sort of get in the way when I boot him up when we do show jumping and things like that. And I'll also be trimming his mane with scissors. I know this is a big no-no in the horse world. You're not supposed to cut your horse's hair with scissors. However, Casper has a very thick mane and I don't particularly want to pull it. And the reason why is because Casper's mane is so thick and I know horses, they naturally don't feel as much pain when you pull out their hair compared to humans. However, he still does feel some discomfort and I'd rather my horse be happier with a slightly dodgy haircut than unhappy and have a nice haircut. Because to me, my horse's well-being is over looking nice and pretty. So I'm going to be using scissors. It might look a bit dodgy for a week. However, it will um, be okay after a couple of days. I'm also going to be thinning out his mane using this special thing, which hopefully won't be as painful as clipping. So I'm going to try that out to thin it out and then to make it shorter, I will cut it. So that is the plan. I know lots of people do clipping in different ways. We will see how it goes. And um, yeah, so hopefully let's make Casper a bit more comfortable and at the moment he is very dirty and it's not good to have a dirty dusty horse when you're clipping because it can dull the blades so I've got a lot of cleaning to do <laughs> It's actually not too bad today, but he literally gets like mud dreadlocks and having a long mane just means he has a larger surface area 
for mud to cling on to, so we're gonna give it a little bit of a trim. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but his neck is so fluffy, and this is where he gets really sweaty when I exercise him, so I will be clipping his neck. <laughs> you ready for your fresh trim? So now Casper is a bit more clean. I have some clippers here and some clipper oil. So these clippers I haven't used before, so we'll see how it goes. But um, these are actually battery powered because we don't actually have any power up here at the stables. They're all off grid. So um, we'll be trying these out. And I also have some clipper oil. So this lubricates the clippers, makes them last longer, but it also cools them down so it doesn't get too hot on the horse and just makes everything a bit more comfortable and also means that you won't get stripes in your clipping. <laughs> So when horses are clipped, some actually can get quite nervous. Casper is such a chilled dude, he's very good at being clipped. So if you do have a horse that is a little bit unsure, it's sometimes good to do a little bit of both clipping on both sides rather than do one whole side and then go onto the other. Because sometimes horses can be funny with one side rather than the other. So if you've clipped one whole side and they won't let you clip the other, you're going to have a dodgy haircut. But he's probably going to get a dodgy haircut anyway. So um, I'm going to, st when I start clipping him, I'm going to start on his shoulder here, just because it's nice and flat. There's no bumps that I need to go over, so hopefully it will be all right. Or I might start on his belly here as well, because again, it's nice and flat. <laughs> Let's do it nice and low. Oh my goodness! That's not too bad, that's not too bad. Oh, we did it boys! I've partly done one side and now I'm going to do the other just so then if he is a bit funny about it at least he will won't be too clipped on this side so I'm just going to brush his very 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 long mane over so because we don't want to clip all your mane off do we Casper we don't want to hog you there we go if you can see but Casper has a really cute little spot or a little patch here it actually has a couple here's like one here 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 and here so I really hope he keeps it when I clip him so let's see <laughs> We're not even halfway through clipping and Casper has already made my hands look absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I am covered in hair from just doing his belly. Oh my goodness. 
my face is so itchy. It's literally all over me. <laughs> Good thing I love you, mate. So the shape of the blanket clip, you can kind of see a bit more now. So we're almost done. Obviously, there are some bits that I definitely need to neaten up, but um, I think it's not too bad for my first clip. So let's just neaten up the edges and then hopefully it will even out in a week or two. Oh, so cool, my friend. So Casper is now clipped for the day. I'm gonna leave it now because it is getting a bit dark and I don't want to clip in the dark. And um, to be honest, he, um, I think I've actually done an all right job. Obviously there are going to be a few lines, but you get that when you clip any horse, even like professional clippers get a few little lines. So in a week's time, I will show you what he looks like when he's all done. For example, I still need to thin out his mane a little bit because it is quite thick. So I've been using this. However, I don't want to use it too much because it is still a little bit uncomfortable. But, um, so I don't want him to do it for too long because I want him to make sure that he's happy because he's been so good being clipped today and I think he deserves to go out and be done for the day because you've been so good, Casper. So I'll be back with you in a week when his clip has settled down and I'm going to wash his mane and tail so it's a little bit yet less yellow. Yes? Should we get you a treat then, matey? I love. So now I'm just going to clean off any of the remaining bits of Casper's coat so they're all ready for next year and I'm going to just oil them as well. That is a lot of hair. Oh my goodness, Casper. Everybody. It's now a week later. I've just taken Casper up from the field. He's had a nice groom, so he's looking pretty clean at the moment. I've decided not to wash him just because now his mane and tail has been shortened. All the yellow bits have actually gone, so he's actually looking pretty white at the moment. And I don't want to wash him because one, it's quite chilly outside and I don't want him to get cold. And also I want to keep all the natural greases in his coat because he's a field kept pony and that'll help protect him against the elements of the weather. So um, I'm just gonna do a little after video so you can see what he's looking like. So that is what Casper is now looking like. I think he's going to be a lot more comfy this winter and I love that his little spot has remained. He's still got his little patch there. And also um, his mane I know is still a little bit on the thick side. I will be thinning it out again over the week using this. However, it, I do like to do it in short little sessions rather than one long session just because it's more comfortable for him. So his mane still needs a little bit more work. It is a gradual process, but I think it's looking really, really good. And um, it's actually pretty straight. So I'm very happy with that. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.